Hello again, I am Blunty. What you're about to hear is something I cut out of my full and complete and extensive and thick and delicious uh, full. I already said full. What's another word for full? Where's my thesaurus? From my review of Pokemon Sword and Shield, I cut it out because it kind of derailed the actual review for a full three and a half minutes worth. But it's something I needed to get off my chest all the same. So uh, I've decided to upload just that removed chunk, that deleted scene in its own little dedicated video here. And it's just, it's about the hate. It's about the haters more than anything else. It's not about the criticism. It's about the way in which criticism is being expressed. And I'm just kind of exhausted by it. Not just for this game, but for pretty much any game that launches these days. It gets this wave of, of, of bandwagon riding, haterade chugging, gimps just 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 and it's just kind of tiresome it's boring it's insipid is what it is every now and again i just have to get it off my chest about why you should absolutely under no circumstances listen to these people no matter how loud they rage but anyway now that i've framed it up and given it some context let's have a listen you can ignore all the impotent rage and flailing limbs of the haters and zero life wankers doing the now traditional for basically every game launch reddit page pantomime parade and review bombing circus as if aggregate review score sites are actually meaningful in any way to anyone with more than 12 brain cells close enough together to occasionally bump into a neurotransmitter. <laughs> You can very safely ignore all the toxic hater anti-fandom. The simple fact is, and there's nearly two decades of evidence to support me on this, no matter what changed in Pokemon, they would be outraged. It's always the case. And not just for Pokemon games, of course. I mean, even in Gen 2, Gold and Silver, and their remakes especially now, very broadly regarded as Pokemon Prime, some of the best games ever made. My personal favourite was Pokemon Soul Silver, right up until, well, maybe this game, but, but we'll get back to that. But regarded as some of the best the series has ever done, even they were raged at mocked endlessly online for the dumb designs of the new Pokemon, or how the story was a boring retread of Generation 1, or how the day and night system was too inconvenient for people being forced to play at certain times of day just to do certain things in the game. It's obnoxious. Long story short, every single Pokemon game that has ever come out has faced this kind of backlash. It's just easy to hear now because, well, social media is louder and in our lives more than ever before. Back in the day, this kind of rage was just on rather more isolated forum sites. And more to the point, if Sword and Shield made big changes, you'd bet your ass people would be furious about them abandoning what made the Pokemon series so great to begin with. And if they didn't make enough changes, Game Freak would get called lazy or out of ideas. It is literally a no-win situation with these garbage hater people, and you should just ignore them, really. I mean, pity them. If you have some compassion for those poor, lost and sad little angry twerps who'd rather be angry at things online than having fun playing a fun game, but don't take anything they say seriously. They are tantruming two-year-olds. Do not reward their behaviour. Do not give them the cookie. <laughs> oh, but blunter you, Shield. Not all criticism is toxic. That's become the new catch cry of these people, by the way, as the backlash gets backlashed upon, not all criticism is toxic. Well, no, not all criticism is toxic. In fact, no criticism is toxic. The toxic side comes from how you express it, you dingleberry, and how these people have hatefully and spitefully attacked anyone who dares offer up the benefit of the doubt to Game Freak or suggests whatever it is they're currently mad about isn't actually that big of a deal. I've literally had two actual death threats alone from just a single video that I posted a few days ago that suggested that having just, just 400 Pokemon in these games instead of the overall 800 total from 20 years worth of games wasn't actually that big of a deal. That made them very angry. Now, that rant out of the way and having triggered all these people into leaving a pissy comment in their impotent outrage downvoting my video and leaving without watching the actual core content of this video you know like how they judged the games before actually playing them let's continue with the actual review shall we so there you go what do you reckon it's, it was a little hyperbolous to be sure but the, the the core the point remains sort of very valid i feel 
Um, so yeah, let me know what you think uh, about all that. I don't expect I'll change very many minds on the sort of hater side of the fence with this, but occasionally you do get through to one or two people and every single person you get through to, maybe they spread the message that just, just being this flailing ball of hate online is, is counterproductive. It's stupid. It's, it's unnecessary. There are better, smarter, more intelligent ways to express your displeasure or disappointment or uh, failed expectations to do with the game than just screeching at anybody who has a different opinion than you uh, on, on, on this kind of stuff. And I'm not even saying, look, just chill out and have a reasonable debate about it because that hardly ever produces anything but more arguments. Anyway, just state your opinion once and go, I've said my thing and then walk away and go enjoy a game you do like. Why spend days and days and days and days and days of your life raging into the void about a video game that is designed and targeted and marketed towards children, ostensibly. I mean, there are plenty of grown-ups who enjoy it, but, you know, it's a kid's game. And you're getting all bent out of shape about it. Maybe, maybe I'm just saying, it might be time to get some perspective on your life. Take a step back, get a wider view, and think, what's the best use of my time? I'm going to do that now, about this video, actually. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty. I'll catch you next time. Self-awareness. See what it is. It's self-referential. Or hypocrisy. I'm sure I'll get accused of that, too.